Hello everyone. Let's get on with this question of XAD 2018. David has an interesting habit of spending money. He spends exactly X pounds on the Xth day of a month. For example, he spends exactly 5 pounds on the 5th day of any month. On a few days in a year, David noticed that his cumulative spending during the last 4 consecutive days can be expressed as 2 raised to the power n, where n is a natural number. What can be the possible value or values of n? Now this is one of those questions which generally students tend to leave because it's a sort of a lengthy question and then even after reading the entire question, we may not be able to, you know, sort of pinpoint where to start from. Let's start in a very systematic manner. It is said that on certain days of the year, he noticed that his cumulative spending over the past four consecutive days can be expressed as a power of two. Now, if all the previous four days are from the same month, we can think of the dates as x, x plus 1, x plus 2, x plus 3. Therefore, the sum of spending on all these four days will be 4x plus 6, which is twice of 2x plus 3. But then here we hit a snag because 2x plus 3 is an odd number and 2 times any odd number cannot be equal to a power of 2 except when that odd number is 1. But then 2x plus 3 cannot have a minimum value 1 in this case because x cannot be negative. So which means that it is not the case that all the four consecutive dates are from the same month. That means there are two months involved. Fair enough. If there are two months involved, we can make three cases. Either it will be the case that one date was from the previous month and three dates from the current month or two from the previous, two from the current or three from the previous month and one from the current month. Let's think about this case. When one date is from the previous month, it can either be 28, 29, 30 or 31. The sum in all these cases is 34, 35, 36, 37 respectively and neither of these are powers of 2. In fact, they are close misses. So that means that this case cannot be one of the possible cases. Likewise, I would like to eliminate this because with a very simple gut feel, I can say that if the previous month's three dates are considered, then their average will be something like 29 or 30 or something in that range. It may be 28. But the point is that with three numbers in this range, the sum goes in the range of 87 or 84 or something like that. And no number near 84, 87 or 90 is a power of 2. Therefore, the previous month cannot have three dates with one date of the current month, which leaves us with only one possible case, if at all, which is two dates from the previous month and two dates from the current month. At this point, we can adopt one of two approaches. Either we can list down all the cases with two dates from the previous month and two dates from the current month or we can do something with which we get our answer very fast. I'll first exhaustively list all the cases and then tell you the faster method. So it can either be the sums in each of these cases are out of which only 64 is a power of 2, no other power of 2. And therefore, we can say 2 to the power 6 is the only possible power of 2, which is the sum of 4 consecutive days of a calendar. Therefore, n equals 6. Answer option 2 is the correct answer. Now, coming to the second approach, as in how we could have avoided writing all these cases and still managed to get our answer. We knew that two dates were from the previous month. That means they would be in the range 29, 30. 
therefore their sum would be in the range 60 and there is only one power of 2 which is in the range 60. Therefore because we have eliminated all other cases the only case is that the power near to 60 is the only possible power and therefore 2 to the power 6 is the only possible case. I hope you could follow the solution very clearly. If there is any doubt, please let us know in the comments box so that we can help you out with that as well. Thank you.